Greetings Space Cadets and welcome to the Musculoskeletal Block. This is a new four-week mission to explore what happens to the musculoskeletal system in space and it's the fifth of our physiology blocks and it starts at the end of July and concludes in mid-August. For this mission there's only one spacewalk so you'll be able to work through the materials at your own pace. We have a meet an expert session on the 12th of August and you can watch this video overview anytime via the link on Canvas. There are also two tutorials for this block. The second Lego Build to Launch collaborative tutorial and it would be great if you could think about designs in advance to help you to work collaboratively with other students on each task. There's more information available via the Build to Launch tile, both on the subject homepage and also on the Mission 6 homepage. There is some preparation required for the Mission Roundtable and Debrief and there is an allocation list for students to present a recap from the Metabolism and Immunity Block Spacewalk. If you have a look at Canvas, you'll see what names have been allocated to what topics and the specific instructions that you need to follow. So please undertake these tasks and come ready to participate in discussion. And with assessment, we still have two assessments to go. The final written report, which is due in late September, and the ePortfolio Reflective Piece presentation, which is due in late October. To help you with these two assignments, we recommend you should complete two short reflections for your ePortfolio. The first to support your written report, and then a spin off reflection to support your final ePortfolio Reflective Piece presentation. The mission overview has a very familiar layout with the introduction, to-do list, inspiration and extension at the top of the home page and then the individual tiles for the mission roundtable and debrief, the extravehicular activities such as spacewalk, the meet and expert session, the build to launch tutorial 2 and spin-offs. And then on the right hand side of the page there is the to-do list with the tasks and the key dates. For inspiration and extension, we have actually one of my very favourite things, which is the NASA Space Tourism posters. They are well worth having a good look at. And then the usual list of extension information and resources. With Spacewalk Overview, once again, this is the standard Layout with the introduction, the spacewalk aims or learning objectives, explore, which is your learning resources, discuss, review, and extra resources. The learning outcomes are to understand how the musculoskeletal system responds to microgravity, disruption of the associated normal homeostatic processes, possible countermeasures, including the importance of exercise understand why back pain occurs during spaceflight, be able to identify key astronaut musculoskeletal injuries, understand the increased risk of renal stones, and appreciate the translational research potential of this area of space health. The learning resources are divided into six categories. The musculoskeletal system in microgravity, bone loss in microgravity, muscle loss in microgravity, back pain in space and in terrestrial bed rest studies, musculoskeletal injuries and rehabilitation, and kidneys and renal stones. The discussion points, there are three points specific to this block and then three general points. And I strongly encourage you to have a think about those and post some comments there to share with your fellow students. With the review activities, there have been quiz questions incorporated into the Explore tab resources. 
And there's also two optional activities which were designed by NASA. One is on renal stone risk to astronauts and the second on microgravity effects on human physiology with particular reference to the skeletal system. You can download the PDFs and work through those and then the answers will be made available during the Neurological Health and Wellbeing block. And the extra resources include the University of Melbourne book list and additional videos and resources. The Meet and Expert session, we're very lucky to have Dr. Mark Ott, who is a NASA astrobiology and space microbiology expert, coming along to talk to us. And the LEGO Build to Launch collaborative tutorial. This is the second tutorial, and this will include Mission 2.2 from Module 2, and then Mission 3.1 and Mission 3.2 from Module 3. So we'll work through those, come up with some designs during the tutorial, and then share those collectively at the end. Just a reminder about spin-offs, the spin-off tile and the spin-off resources. Lots of things for you to look at to help you with your final assignment and also to help you generally with this concept of how space research can be translated to help life here on Earth. With the Mission Roundtable and Debrief, we'll be looking at NASA inspirational video, doing the recap for the Metabolism and Immunity block, doing a small group discussion, and then the debrief for the Metabolism and Immunity block. There are two activities for the small group discussion. One is to think about stabilizing a broken bone in space with a limited number of available resources. So hopefully that will be a bit of fun for you and also generally applicable to working in any austere or low resource environment. And the second activity is to think about autonomous medical care in deep space. Once you're a long way from Earth, you can't rely on Earth for support or assistance. So what are some of the emerging technologies and other solutions that might be able to help make medical care more resilient? And there's a Padlet on Canvas that you can use to help you organize your ideas if you would like to do so. And finally, the debrief for the metabolism and immunity block. And there are four tasks to think about. Firstly, in what ways do you think the lessons from and research into metabolic health and immunity in space can be applied or translated to help human health here on Earth? And then what did you enjoy about the mission? What didn't you like so much and what do you think can be improved? And if you have any constructive suggestions, please bring those along. And finally, there's an opportunity to ask any questions you might have. And that's a wrap. Thank you very much.